the most controversial team to hit USWO Wrestling. It's Brian Turner of Booty Call, and you are watching Realistic Fishing. Bounce on over to Brian Turner's VHS Rehab for more of Booty Call. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. We're gonna make a few casts with this Rapala jerkbait. Let's see if we can get a bite. Been dealing with a cold snap here in Middle Tennessee. 30s at night, low 30s. I'm looking for a bass, a big skipjack, white bass, striper. We're gonna go for the bigger fish first, see if I can get a bite, and if not, then maybe we'll downsize to something like a gulp minnow. See if we can get anything at all. Since I'm already here, I'd rather not skunk. Right? If I can help it. In fact, it looks like there's a good amount of shad in here. Right where I'm fishing. But if there's nothing eating them, well, then I'm not going to catch anything. See that shad out there? I'm looking for some bigger splashes. Might not see any. There might not even be any fish here. Like I said, it's been cold. We've been dealing with 30 degrees at night. I think that's the coldest of the season so far. What I'm hoping is that the fish are getting turned on for feeding for winter. So far, that's not really the case. It's just kind of slow and dead. Overall, I would say this has been an average, maybe slightly below average year for fishing. My name is Dewey Cash. And you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. What we're going with now, two trout magnets on a double realistic rig. I just happen to have these laying around. We're using plain bait hooks here. We're not using the trout magnet jig heads for this rig. That's the rig two trout magnets, and a pinch on sinker. Let's see if we can find a fish that's willing to go for this. It looks good. We're just gonna fan cast up here at the boat ramp. Let's go try by the log. Yeah, the fishing's been pretty terrible the last few days. I haven't caught a bass in forever. Yesterday, I think I caught one skipjack. It was really windy. Let's try down here by the log. There's one. There's one. Let's 
First fish of the day right here. We got a skipjack. Check it out. About a 10 inch skipjack here. Let's let it go. We're trying to get another one. I wonder if it's the color. These have a little bit of a greenish tint to them. I wonder if I'd be better off going with a gulp minnow, kind of a gray and white. That might have been a bite. Might. Not. That was a bite. That was definitely a bite. All right. All right. Let's get one. Might be some in the neighborhood. fish. There we go. Oh, 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 he came off. Wow. Too riled up here at the bank. I probably could have flung him up here. Wow. He was just jumping all over the place. Wrestling fans, the Arm Dragon Sensation, second generation superstar LT Fog here, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. And if you want some real fucking advice, keep it realistic. Let's keep trying. We're gonna fish it on the bottom this time. See if we can't get a different kind of bite. So far, zero crappie this fall. All the bluegill have been about four inches long. I would say the skipjack are the most aggressive fish out right now. Not even a nibble on the bottom. Fish, fish. Oh, it's a small bluegill. Well, it's something anyway. Got him on a trout magnet. On a realistic rig. Let's see how big he is. Mmm. Five and a half, six incher. Let's try it again. Maybe, just maybe, there's a crappie down here. We're fishing this two different ways today. High speed, twitching along the top to get something like a skipjack. And slow twitching on the bottom to get bluegill. Now we're going with my secret weapon gulp minnow realistic rig let's see if i start catching fish or if they're just not very active today this is jersey joel from jersey joel fishing if you're watching realistic fishing keep it realistic here we go one inch gulp minnow pretty much my favorite panfish bait of all time also a great skipjack catcher. Let's see if this makes all the difference in the world. Same rig I was fishing with the trout magnets, which I actually did catch a couple. I had one skipjack jump off right next to the bank and I actually caught one bluegill. There we go. Now we're gonna see, is it really the gulp minnow? Let's find out. So far up here, I haven't caught anything. So if I get one up here on this rig, that's telling me something. Let's see what happens. Come on, let's get one. 
The fish are just not very active. Oh, that might have been a bite. Fish. What do we got? What do we got? There we go. Nice looking skipjack. Nice and shiny. Nice and big. Hooked in the bottom lip right there. All right, the gulp minnow rig came through. Check out this nice skipjack here. Yeah, good one. Good one. I would say it's about a 11, 12 inch skipjack. Nice and shiny. There may be hope for the day. That first fish up here at the boat ramp got it on a gulp minnow. Let's try this side, might as well. Then we'll go try down there by the log. Back and forth, back and forth. Let's do this. Fish, fish on, fish on. All right. Whoa, he came off. Got him. Another nice size skipjack. There we go. This one's got a lot more green in it. Good looking fish here. Maybe a 12 incher. Got him on the gulp minnow. I think this pretty much seals the deal. Gulp minnow is the way to go. Let's let this fish go. Hi, I'm Magnus from Las Cruces, New Mexico, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. So, what did I get today? A bluegill and a few skipjack, and that's it. And one skipjack yesterday in the super windy conditions. You know, the bite is really tough right now. I was able to eke out a few on the gulp minnow today, and one bluegill on the trout magnet. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.